How's it going guys? Vincent here from the creativedojo.net. Today in this video, I just want to show you guys some of the basic features of my Dojo text generator script, which you can get over at aescripts.com or my website, creativedojo.net. And it's a fairly simple script, but I think it will really help some of you guys in your workflows if you use a lot of text layers in your projects. So what this script does is it allows you to generate new text layers based on your user input, your separator, as well as existing text layers. And this is what I'm gonna be showing you guys today in this video. So right off the bat, we can see that we have a drop down menu here, and this is our separator. And this defines when a new text layer gets generated. So for an example, we have a comma separator, a space separator, as well as a custom separator, which allows you to define your own custom separator, whether it may be a pipe or a forward slash or a period, you know, whatever it may be. This is a pretty, you know, powerful feature here, the custom separator. So more on that a little bit later here, but let's go ahead and set our separator back to comma. And let me just show you quickly what this thing does here. So I'm gonna go ahead and pay something here. Let's say a theoretical client, um, you know, sent me an email and told me to create this many text layers and this is what he wants. I'm gonna go ahead and copy that, paste that in, and go ahead and just hit create. And we get a confirmation here. And as you can see, we get a few text layers created here. So I'm gonna decide here. And we created four text layers because our separator is set to comma. So every time it sees a comma here, it's gonna create a new text layer. It's pretty straightforward here. So another example, we'll set it to space, we'll delete these, and maybe we'll type in title, slogan, um, company name, and you know ending title. So based on the space separator, it's going to create a new text layer every single time it sees a space. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six words. So essentially it's gonna create six text layers because it's gonna generate a text layer for every single word. So I'm gonna go ahead and hit create. And you can see that we have six text layers, each word on its own text layer. And this is a very handy little feature here. For example, maybe you don't really have specific text that you want to use yet, or your client hasn't sent you specific text. Um, this is just kind of like a quick checklist way of kind of putting in dummy text um, for things that you know you'll need, like a title, slogan, company name, etc. So this is just a really nice way of just generating a whole bunch of text layers very fast, very easily, whether it's specific text layers, list, you know, or just dummy text. This is a nice way of doing it. And it just makes it very fast to copy and paste stuff and just generate things. Um, we also have a few other options like flip order, 3D text as well as motion blur. These two here essentially just make the text layers that are generated a 3D text layer or have motion blur enabled by default. The flip order will actually flip the stacking order of the text generation. So for an example, if I just hit um, create one more time, you can see that we have, you know, the first text is the first layer of the stack here. But if we hit flip order and delete these and hit create one more time, you're gonna see that you're gonna see that it's actually in reverse. So title, slogan, company, name, ending, title. So it's kind of flipped. So it kind of flipped the stacking order. And this is, um, you know, just more control to you. Now, the last thing I wanna show you guys is the breaking feature, which allows you to break existing text layers apart. So same thing, I'm gonna go ahead and create a new text layer. And we'll just type in maybe uh, ending credit titles. So as you can see, we have three words and let's say I wanted to separate and break apart these individual words onto their own separate text layer. Make sure that the space separator is selected and just go ahead and hit break. And it will essentially rename the, the original text layer here and turn it off. And then it will actually create three individual new text layers with each word on its own text layer. So this is a pretty handy feature. You can also select multiple text layers at once and actually break them apart. So this is another handy feature as well. And notice how the break feature has nothing to do with the text box here. The text box is only for the create button here, whereas the break feature depends on your selected layers. So this is something important to know. And don't forget that you can actually define custom separators here as well. So that's pretty much it for the script. It's a fairly simple script, but I think it'll really help you guys in your text workflow, whether it's just to generate a whole bunch of text automatically 
copy and paste style, or maybe it's just to create some dummy text holders for your text. And depending on the complexity of your text titles and animations, uh, this may be a better solution than, you know, just duplicating the text over and over and over again, or going to layer new texts over and over again. So this is just a pretty handy little script. Hopefully you guys like it. You can get it at ascripts.com or my website at creativedojo.net. If you guys have any questions, feedbacks, or suggestions, feel free to leave them in the comments and I'll get to them as soon as I can. But once again, my name is Vincent Wynn and I'll see you guys next time.